pay out. But I'm seeing much faster than I have been seeing by just responding to him and only giving my the, myself the task of staying close and continuing. I'm not like, where's the opening? What do I do? What's he doing? It's just when he comes forward, I automatically strike. When his weight shifts this way, I automatically corral him the other way, that kind of thing. See how my arms are staying out now? I'm like pinning him a little bit. This helps me know where he is by having like an antenna feeler on him. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's in the corner and I don't take that as my like time to change the pace or the distance. So here, see how far he puts his hips in? That's when I step past him. When I feel his hip is in so far, I can't really do the step back. So that's when I should actually step beyond him. <laughs> I'm just too far away. Look at how far his knees can go. So I'm making these strikes and then I'm just kind of falling off to the sides. Like I, I just keep taking distance that I don't need because I'm really uncomfortable in this particular distance. So I felt like my strikes were getting really wide, which is why I made that gesture of the hug. But just relax and like work to the right distance by continuing to strike, like correct it through movement, not by stopping and starting again. So this is a trip he's worked with me on quite a few times and I always turn it into a foul because I put my weight on my front leg, but on that trip, it actually needs to be on the back leg. When he's cross-checking, that's when you do it. When, you, when he cross-checks. So he's trying to show me that when someone's leg comes up, that's when you step past it. And I put my leg into his thigh, and then you push with your upper body to really like force him to move. But see how he comes all the way in? He puts his head on my shoulder. I've never done that. He's never shown me that aspect of this move. That's very much Karahat. He's always like ducking into things. So my problem of like being too far away and so like fouling him, it's solved by coming all the way in and putting my head on his shoulder. there I turned too far but it was the right idea I didn't bring my head in Don't step out. <laughs> that was definitely a foul <laughs> but well timed <laughs> you can't put the back of your leg on the back of someone else's leg that's why when I do it it's a foul is I kind of am rolling him over my hip when he does it, he's basically pinning the leg with his leg and then pulling the person over. So he, he sees me trying to get this move and he's having to make adjustments to stay away from it. And then I miss the window. So that was good. The way I got out of the way and then changed direction at the end of it, that's good. That's a big change for me because normally I just like run backwards out of the way. But if I had taken one step and immediately sprung back, it would have looked really different. So it's basically like a plant that's growing and it goes into these different phases. I'm in a phase where the step back looking confident is good. <laughs> Jesus. But the step back looking confident and then being an attack is the next blossom stage, I guess. 